I tried like dating apps, you know, you, know, you don't give any matches or the no response. And I was like, is this just me? Am I doing something wrong? You know, but then I looked it up and it turns out a lot of guys, it's actually extremely common, statistically common for guys on dating apps now these days to just not get as many matches and to not get as many responses. Like maybe one girl will respond out of like 30 or something like that. And you can look that up online. Um, the coronavirus, you know, for the first time in I don't know when, right? <laughs> Everyone's been, and it's been getting better now, but like for them for a long time, for almost a year, everyone was like kind of stuck in their house. Theaters shut down. So like, where do people go to date? Right. And then people are not really supposed to be um, interacting in person with each other. It's supposed to be limited. It might've made people feel lonely for the first time who had never felt lonely before. It, and we saw that the mental health was getting worse kind of as it progress because isolation just has that effect the other effect it might have had is making people more eager like maybe you take dating in person for granted or dating in general for granted and you realize what you're missing and then maybe maybe it's going to make people more eager to get back out there in the dating game once all of this stuff kind of lifts up fully right we're just seeing some of the trickles out of it you know the the pandemic like you said has put us in isolation mode since we are social beings, you know, we just want to connect with people. And maybe that's why uh, online dating picked up so much uh, speed because like you said, since one couldn't go out, then how do you meet other people? Sometimes, like you said, guys don't get that much matches in itself. Like, and I, I don't think it's that they don't get matches, but it's just sometimes a little bit harder to like filter through, you know? Online dating can can in a way help you uh, narrow down sometimes like people that might have the same interest as you. I'm trying to put myself in in both shoes, you know, of, of both girls and, and guys. There's so many things that go into it. Like, for, for example, in online dating, you know, what are you going to put on your profile? Sometimes there's limited amount of characters that you can put depending on the apps. They have like questions that you can answer. Uh, you can put pictures and some of them are for like hooking up. Some are more like for like serious dating. You think it, it's worth people's time to go into online dating? To, for me to tell you all what to do, that's not up to me, right? That's up to you all. What, and each person will find benefits and costs. Some people might find the wife in person. Some people might be more likely either way, right? The dating apps that lean more towards hookups um, kind of create this pattern of, uh, of hooking up, right? I've heard stories like, of people like hooking up after Tinder or something like that. And then like right after the hookup, they're, they're both still in the same room and they're right on Tinder looking for their next hookup. So it kind of just shows you how they kind of feel about the other person and yeah. people can do whatever they want. But like some, for some people I've heard that after doing that for a while, it can be very unsatisfying and it can kind of lead to negative, negative feelings, negative emotions, depression, after a while, regret. There is a tendency for those kind of dating apps to create this pattern of all of the most attractive guys getting all of the girls. Because if a minority of men are, are and are sleeping with most of the girls, right, then the men who don't meet those same standards are kind of left outside, right? It's almost like a survival of the fittest kind of deal. Yeah, and it's very similar to like sexual selection of evolution if people engage in this constant pattern and it increases in society and becomes more mainstream of the instant gratification of the hookup apps and just only pursuing that and nothing else nothing else that has more meaning i guess then yeah i mean it can it's chasing that instant gratification it's chasing this instant high but it's never going to fulfill the deeper need within all of us. for other people you know they grow old and with regret kind of like looking back like and maybe I should have found a more long-term relationship because now I don't have anything. People don't want to be rejected, even in dating apps, you know? So they'll reveal sometimes things to show themselves like seductively or something, right, right, something right. like that. That way you don't swipe, you know, right. You swipe left to to actually like them, you know? It's, it's creating a culture of that, you know? Of like, oh, I don't want to be, I want like more people to swipe left. It's becoming... A little bit more like everybody has to accept me everybody has to love me or try to avoid offending in some way right something like that some guys like oh they're not getting any matches or anything like that it's it's hard to go through that right the rejection aspect but 
you know, what one could see it like that, but then one could also see it. Well, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a specific type of person. I know what I want. I'm not going to try to like fool around with other, you know, other things that might be in the dating world. I know what I want. And this is, this is exactly what, you know, I've realized I've come to, to realize that I want in a relationship, you know, if I don't see that, then, you know, it's, it's not going to go forward, you know? And so some other people can say like, well,